and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie Bonomo. Hi, if you're new here, or hey, if you've been here before. And today I have some pretty exciting announcements to make. I don't even think I was expecting half of these, but here we are and I have some cool things to share. So this is just gonna be a sit down video and just kind of talking about all the endeavors that I have going on in my life upcoming in this year for the most part. So let's start off with the first one that I have. And I am so, so excited to say guys that I'm gonna be in an anthology. This is so exciting. I remember getting the email last week when I'm filming this, I got it on March 7th and I just started crying. <laughs> I was so excited. In a couple of my vlogs, I'll leave them linked below. I, I did two vlogs where I think I talked about this short story that I was writing. I had gotten invited via email to participate in the Stygian collection. So the Stygian Society is a upcoming and kind of new imprint that just begun this year. And they're based out of Montreal and it's through two YouTubers, Holly Rhiannon and Pei Veo. They decided that they wanted to kind of do an indie publishing house to cater to some of the like, darker feels, like the gothic vibes, like horror stuff like that. And their intention is to do adult and YA, I believe. I have all my puppies here right now. They also decided that they wanted to kind of give back to the YouTube community since they are both author tubers and they wanted to do a collection and reach out to a bunch of different author tubers to submit short stories. So I decided that I had a story that I wanted to rework a long time ago and I never got around to it. So I decided to do that and I spent the entire month editing it and getting feedback and writing and, and all that kind of stuff and it got accepted. <laughs> so that's my first announcement is I'm gonna be published, yay! So that means that I have some cool stuff and deadlines now that I get to be a part of as like a real author. <laughs> now this is just one story. There is, I believe there's gonna be 24 short stories included in the anthology. But as of today, when this video goes out, as it actually started March 18th, but when you see this video, you can already go ahead and participate in the Kickstarter. Now, if you participate in the Kickstarter, there are different tiers. So I think the most basic tier is an ebook copy. And then it goes up from there where you'll get like, you know, a hardcover or a soft cover or whatever their printing is. And it goes all the way up to the highest level, which is you get to do a pizza party with all the contributing authors via Zoom or online. And that's pretty exciting. So basically the co-founders will buy anybody who buys that a pizza and then you all get to join us for like a live launch party. So I'm, I'm kind of, I think that's kind of cool. And it's unique. I don't think many people do that. So I'm excited to be a part of this and like this whole Kickstarter. So the Kickstarter won't be proceeding the authors. It will be proceeding all of the illustrations and marketing for the book. And then you can also, once the pre-order goes live after the Kickstarter is done, you can also contribute that way. So for now, you can go ahead if you want and contribute to the Kickstarter. And like I said, that'll help with all the marketing and the illustrator for the book. I'm really excited. I have always wanted to have like art for my short story and I could only hope that my short story is going to have an artist draw like a scene from it. It's not a very, like it's very confined my short story. Like we're not traveling a lot. We're in one room the entire scene, but it's just like I imagine the scene that could be illustrated and I like almost hope that it's gonna happen because I think it'd be so cool to see that and then have like art of my work. Like how wild would that be? <laughs> so yeah, so I uh, all I have now for you guys is to look out for more announcements about pre-orders and buying copies. Uh, but if you want to help me and all the other authors now, you can definitely go contribute to that Kickstarter fund. And yeah, I'm gonna be published, yay! <laughs> So now let's move on to the second big announcement that I am making. <laughs> if you guys remember my goals video, it's up above for 2023, then you may remember that I tiered all of my writing goals. And on the highest tier, which was things that I didn't think would happen, but I would love to make it happen, was to have a writing retreat. And while I'm not actually doing like just, just a writing retreat, I am so excited to say that I am going to be hosting an artist retreat 
in September of this year. So I want to stress that this is open to anybody if you have the funds to do it. But I also want to be completely transparent that this is like a paid partnership that I am doing this with. I am partnering with a local business and I am going to be one of the hosts on the artist retreat. So I am like the, the writing host essentially. And we have another person that is going to be like the painter drawer host. And then there's also going to be like a, I don't want to say like a metaphysical, but that's kind of like the owner of the business they're doing like their part is all about like the creative wellness and like, you know, meditations and like reaching that like inner potential through like meditative standpoints and stuff like that. So we have a couple different hosts that are going to be there, but I will actually be getting paid for this. So it's kind of cool because I get to host a retreat and get paid money for it as well, which was not something that I ever thought. Like if I, if you told me I was going to do this five years ago, I would be like, yeah, okay. Like that's, that's a pipe dream and now it's not, it's actually happening. So I am going to be working with the Salted Pixie, which is located in Archibald, Pennsylvania. And if you are in Northeast Pennsylvania or around there or can travel, you are more than welcome to sign up for the retreat. It is relatively pricey. So, you know, I've not, it's not going to be accessible for a lot of people, but that includes pretty much everything. It includes payment to the hosts who are putting it on. It's your lodging for the weekend. It's all your food. And then any of like the activities that we do, um, all the supplies would be provided as well. So it kind of covers all of that. And I went on one retreat last year with this business and it was one of the best experiences of my life. So I'm kind of excited to now be on the flip side of that where I get to also be part of hosting it and helping other people tap into their creativity and just be surrounded by other artists. It's so exciting. So this retreat is going to take place in September the 15th through the 17th. It's on a beautiful location in a na nature sanctuary. That time of year, I believe all the trails would be open too. So there's tons of hiking trails. There's like this nice little lake there. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's in the middle of nowhere. So it's gonna look like you're arriving to a cabin in the woods where you're gonna be murdered. But like, it's perfect for all the creative vibes. I remember being there and just like, oh, I'm just living in my best element right now. So it's kind of perfect for the vibes. There's like the house is big. There's different, there's like several different porches where you can like sit outside and do your writing or music or painting or whatever it is that you are an artist of. And like I said, it doesn't have to be like just those things. Like if you are a crocheter or a knitter or just any form of artistry, like people can join. So I'm just very excited to see like who's going to come. Obviously if it doesn't sell, then it's gonna end up being canceled. So I'm hoping it's not, <laughs> but putting out all the good vibes that this is gonna be a worthwhile experience. And I get to use my skills as a writer to hopefully help and encourage other people. For anybody who might be interested, you can definitely go check out the details. I will leave the business linked down below. And like I said, it is in the, the Northeast Pennsylvania region. So obviously it might not work for everybody, but it is open to all. And I believe the, the, you can put a down payment on it. So you could pay like half now and then pay half later or pay it all outright. And there's different tiers for, you know, having a private room versus being bunked with somebody. And I bunked with random people last year when I did my first retreat and it was so cool. It was just cool to have a different experience and meet people. So, I mean, that's not always a bad option. So yeah, overall, that's, that's the second cool announcement in like the last two weeks of my life. I have been put in an anthology and I've also been a part of creating a, an artist retreat for a bunch of people, which is so cool. <laughs> I understand that we live in a world where money is a ruling factor for a lot of things. So I don't take any offense if people can't buy the anthology or can't contribute to the Kickstarter or can't attend the writing retreat. But I wanted to just remind you guys that there are lots of cool things that I'm also doing that are totally free and on the internet. I will leave all these linked down below, but I have quite a few Discord groups that we have been taking off and doing cool things with. The first is my writing group. So I currently have a writing group that is at the local business I'm doing the artist retreat with, and that is the Pixie writing group. So even though we meet in person here in the area, I also have a Discord that is open to anybody anywhere. So if you guys want a good writing group to do writing sprints with or have resources, 
I very thoroughly made that writing group discord and I feel like you can get anything anywhere on that. Um, or if it's not on there, you can request for me to make it a section, but I am excited because we have like five members total in that group. I definitely want people to join it. So it is free no matter where you are in the world to join that discord and just connect with other writers if that's something you're interested in. On the reading side of things, I currently have three reading book clubs. And the one is also at the Salted Pixie, but that one is in person. And it's a lot harder to be a part of online because we only have a Facebook group and it really just caters to the people who are in person, like trying to get together with that. But the other two writing groups I have are both on Discord as well and are completely open to whoever wants to join. And I'll leave both of their links below. The first one is Lotosaurus Rex. That is my initial book club that I created. And most of it is people that like we know are people like friends of friends kind of deal. But again, I'm open to anybody joining it. And it's primarily sci-fi and fantasy based. So we read a lot of adult sci-fi and fantasy. And occasionally someone might throw a suggestion out for something else, but that's kind of the focus of that group is the, is the fantasy and sci-fi. If you are into fantasy and sci-fi, then you might also be interested in my Lord of the Rings slash token book club that I am hosting with Autumn Ashley. When you're seeing this video, our first meeting has already been completed. We read The Fellowship of the Rings and we already had the discussion. However, we have a ton more material for J.R.R. Tolkien to go through. Our next book club meeting is going to be in June and that's going to be a Thursday. I can't remember the date off the top of my head, but we'll be discussing the two towers. So even if you missed our March discussion for Fellowship of the Ring, then you still have time to read both the Fellowship and Two Towers for our June and jump right into that. And at any point in time, you can just join us too, even if you want to just hang out in the book club discord and have a good time with us. Occasionally I post memes and TikToks and we, we just kind of post little things about our writing updates, but I'm very excited to have all of these meetings upcoming. And once we finish the original trilogy, we will be moving on to other Tolkien works. So things like The Hobbit, The Similarian, The Fall of Numenor, like all of that stuff will be coming up. It just depends on what the group wants to do after we finish The Return of the King. We're gonna give a group poll to see what book we wanna move on to next. But as I said, you can join anytime you want. And I think, you know, only having to read the first two books without missing out on much more isn't a bad trade-off. So those are all my updates. I feel very excited <laughs> for everything that's upcoming in my life. And I'm so grateful for the opportunities I have at my hands right now. I don't think I anticipated everything happening all at once in 2023. But you know, if you're into astrology and the moon and, and everything that's going on, like apparently this was supposed to be my year. <laughs> and I guess it is. But either way, like I feel like I've tried to work my butt off to get somewhere. And I can only hope that that means that at some point this year when I'm ready to query another book, that I will also have similar success. But for now, those are all the announcements I have. I just want to thank you guys for sticking around and listening to me babble on about my wins. And I would also just ask for you guys too to let me know if you have any wins of your own because this isn't just a one-way street. I want to hear and celebrate you guys as well. So whether that's writing related or work related or something else in your life, definitely let me know down below. And if it's something that I can actually check out, I will do so. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.